I'm rolling here. All right, here we go. Hey, Jerry here, Bro Kite, World International Headquarters here, Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, Wes Hanson and I got together about four years ago. We did a little video on how we were making our boards. And uh, we've made quite a few boards since then. We've made quite a few improvements since then. So uh, I think it's time to maybe make, make another video. I don't have West here, so I'm on my own. So uh, I was just gonna show you how we've upgraded the process and uh, how we've figured out a few problems and uh, how we're uh, doing it these days. Uh, this is a pattern table on the board right here. One of the cool things about our technique is that uh, it gives us a great deal of flexibility. We make a lot of different types of boards. Uh, we don't have to build super expensive molds to make any of these boards. Uh, you know, right now we have 18 boards in our stable uh, and uh, we can add one. Uh, we can come up with molds for a board. You know, it only takes us about an hour to do a new outline and new board and because of our toasters over here, our boxes that we heat things up in, uh, it also uh, a lot of flexibility there on changing rocker and bottom shape. Yeah, to get these, uh, to get the core shape, we used to route these out, have a big industrial router and have a template that we throw on top of there and we run around with a big router bit and make a lot of noise. And you know. So, of course, what we're getting now is the exact shape of the uh, core of the board. All right, once we got it marked, pull out the core, bring it over to our marking table. This is where we're going to mark where all the inserts go, where the five sections of the core are. If y'all have seen the first video, we used to do four sections, but uh, we've increased that now to five sections. So, five sections. Now we're going to mark where the inserts go, handle and push straps. Of course, this is uh, adjustable on any of the boards, so uh, we can build custom boards which have a stance just for you. And when we do that, it gives us some advantages because we can tune the board to your stance. Uh, we don't have to make an extra large uh, foot platform, which takes away a little bit of flexibility. We can tune it so that whatever your stance is, that'll be exactly where the platform will be. That's the core. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the drill press. We're going to simply uh, cut one inch uh, circular holes where all these inserts go. to the table saw.
it's really changed over the last four years to our layup schedule. We've gotten a little more sophisticated with uh, where we're putting the carbon, the type of carbon we're using. We're actually using what they call a 5-1 11 ounce carbon now, which means instead of an even weave, which is called 50-50, uh, uh, it, it alternates every five threads so that you don't have weaknesses where the threads overlap. So it's spread out. It's more like using a directional carbon, but instead of giving you strength in just one direction, which directional carbon does, this actually gives you strength in two directions because you have the cross threads in. So that's what this baby is here. All right, this is where the magic happens. We're uh, starting to apply the carbon now. We're doing an edge wrap now on the Venicel core section, which is actually just foam PVC. We use the foam PVC because it's a neutral material, unlike wood, which uh, actually has resistance. Uh, the PVC will allow the carbon to have quicker uh, shock response and get back to where it was once it feels pressure. Uh, now we're applying the uh, foot platform, which uh, creates a rigid center part of the board. Uh, and feathers out with the edge wraps into the tail and gives us a uh, tail which is uh, flexible but yet very responsive. We install the stainless steel fail-safe inserts into the core. Uh, the spacing on our standard uh, inserts are 15 and a half, 17 and a half, 19 and a half, and that is from uh, inside to inside. Now that's custom. We can put them anywhere. We really like just putting in one set, and that way we can tune the uh, foot platform uh, to the rider, and we don't have to cover that range to make sure they all work. Uh, these inserts are embedded inside the edge wrap and inside the foot platform. And once we get that done, we're ready to take this puppy to lamination, which we're going to cover in the next video.